Post-game highlights are brought to you by Farmbergessa. Stop by Farmbergessa in Vinton for delicious farm-to-table burgers, or check out their second location in Grandin Village. 601 days, folks. It's been a long time since we've been able to drop the puck here at the Berglund Center. And it's going to be Derek Bain, Mark Duncan, and Jordan Crable. Crable, the referee, that drops the puck tonight, and we're underway. Stubbs picks it up. Stubbs has a lot of space. Centering pass, Shep scores! Rail Yard Dogs after 601 days. Light the lamp in Roanoke. And who else? It's 17, Matt Beer. Beersy gets Roanoke on the board. 17-25 left to go in the first period. Vizza crossing in and a wide open goal missed by Jeff Jones. Oh my goodness, the hit stick from Travis Armstrong. He just sent Glover back to North Carolina on that one. For the first intermission, but the rail yard dogs lead one to nothing over the marksman. Now back toward the blue line. That's shot from Picorni. Sherwood coming in deep for Pulaski. And he lays out Pulaski, and here we go. Sherwood's going to have a go at it, trying to see who has a hold of him. It's Carter Struthers and Sherwood, and Sherwood immediately dropped the gloves. He knew it was coming. That was a shot ripping in from Harrison Harper. And now Sean Leonard's going to have a go at it. Him and Glover dropped the gloves. Glover getting in a few right hands. Leonard unable to get anything off so far. Now a right hand coming over the top. Leonard loses his helmet. He takes Glover to the ice. Mac Jansen, one on one. Jansen against Pulowski. Jansen can't tuck it around towards Carter Allen. Allen kind of gets in some trouble. Dill tries to knock it away, and it's tapped in and scored by Glover. And another goal off the faceoff. Glover driving it in. He's got two. And now a shot and another goal. They can't stop it. It's Matt McNair in the slot. Six hundred and one days started off with a triumphant first forty-six minutes, but the Fayetteville Marksmen come out victorious as they beat Rono four to one here on opening night. These were your post-game highlights brought to you by Farm Burgessa. Be sure to check out Farm Burgessa in Vinton for delicious farm-to-table burgers, or stop by their second location in Grandin Village.